with less than a year to the 2023 general elections the race for the presidential tickets of political parties is getting more intense as political parties strategize towards holding their party primaries the issue of which of the six geopolitical zones in nigeria with their presidential candidates emerge has been a subject of national discourse equitable zoning of the presidency in the 2023 general elections by the two major political parties the all progressive congress apc and the people's democratic party pdp is currently one of the most contentious issues in nigeria today record that the southeast has since nigeria returned to democracy in 1999 been clamoring for a president of Igbo extraction and since then Nigeria returned to democracy only the southeast region has yet to produce the presidents from the southern parts of the country according to a report by the daily post former vice president Atiku Abubakar described the 2023 presidential election as a very crucial and historical moment for the survivor of the people's democratic party PDP he noted that people have not stopped talking about power rotation shun and zoning he said the pdp invented and formulated the zoning policy simply because the party wanted every part of this country to have a sense of belonging he said the south had ruled nigeria more times than the north since the country returned to democracy the former vice president was probably referring to eight years each for former president ulushe gomba sonjo and president muhammadu Buhari respectively five years for former president good Lord jonathan and three years for late former president umaro yaradua he said his heart was only the only region who has produced the president in the many years of pdp government and the southwest has equally given the chance to produce the president or the vice president but the inability of the people pdp to defeat apc in 2015 and 2019 is the main why the reason why no southeast candidate has ever been the vice president he said the reason he did not run against his principal re-election former president Solush in 2003 was because he wanted to keep the zoning policy of the then ruling people's democratic party pdp asiku said he is not opposed to rotating the presidency and he has paid his dues on the issues of zoning by rejecting Bola Tinubu as running mate in 2007 when they were members of the Action Congress AC and settled for Ben Obi as his running mate due to the conditions Tinubu gave him and he also chose Peter Obi, a former Anambra state governor and economist as his running mate in the 2019 general elections. He cautioned the party leaders not to allow the All Progressives Congress APC and other parties to force their zoning plan on the party adding that they have a moral obligation which is inescapable <laughs> oh my god this article uh, is a wonderful person <laughs> when it comes to it's, it's, it's even more desperate than it was in 2019 it's more desperate i don't even know none of them can offer anything no none of them Unless they are going to pro prove us wrong, but from what Nigerians know, they are not going to be playing or giving them that kind of opportunity again to come and say, "Come and try." I think uh, from now there should there should be a written agreement. There should be since uh, this thing has been going back and forth, back and forth. It should be written. This is it. This is it. If it is the the uh, if it is the turn of the south, then. The, both uh, the parties should just go to that place and pick their people if not we are just going to be going back and forth and a lot of grudges will be there i don't know why these old people cannot do the right thing tell me how they are different from the younger ones tell me and they want the younger ones to, to respect them who does that respect is reciprocal irrespective of your age you respect a child the child will give you double respect that is how it is PDP should fit Peter Obi for presidency and Atiku Abaka as Obi's vice. <laughs> Any Southeast man, even Humai, is good in PDP. Let Ibo choose you, Atiku, as his running mate. It is uh, not a crime if it happens. 
South had produced the president for 12 years, but yet could not fix the country, even when they had a lot of money at hand, could not build brand new railways all over. What are you saying? Is it a. I didn't think, because this person, they, are, they want to come with this, uh, they are nonsense uh, bridge. What are the things Buhari did? Worsening Nigeria security puts us in an extricable death trap by China, polarize the country, and inflict wounds that will take several decades to heal, destroy all the fabrics holding us together, hoist the Fulani hegemony on the rest of us. You are writing like a stranger in this country. The railway that they are talking about, who started it? No, who started it? It was almost, according to what you are telling us, it was almost 70% done before they came on board. And you are telling us that they did this, they did that. Well, Buari APC messed Nigeria up. Huge debt, PDP cleared Nigeria debt by Northern military and put Nigeria to fastest growing economy in Africa. They again with six years messed the whole thing up by borrowing the this thing. Uh, they not uh, produce the president for 42 years. The period the South Road was spent rebuilding the 42 years of Northern destruction. Look at the achievements of Basanjo and Jonathan now, completely destroyed by Northern Buhari, the Fulani capital consumer, born parasites. This shows how unserious Aboki people can be. <laughs> okay, you are talking like a wood drop. A I don't understand what these ones are saying, but the bone of contention now is that Atiku does not is not does not believe in rotation. But maybe after his own ten or paraventure, uh -huh, let's put that caveat. Paraventure, let's say he gets the tickets and he wins, then maybe he can now be talking of rotation. But as far as he's concerned now, he doesn't believe in that. Well, what did Buhari do to Nigeria? Absolute nothing. In fact, Buhari is the worst president Nigeria has ever had. In the history of Nigeria, don't ever mention that man again in Nigeria. If Buhari performs, nobody will be talking of power shifting in uh, to the south, southern Nigeria. It is because of body perform of say, uh, of say Baba okay in every aspect of Nigeria. If the president didn't protect Kasina states from banditry, and you think he can protect the rest of Nigeria, you think he cannot. He cannot, that is just the fact, he cannot. It's just unfortunate that we have found ourselves uh, in this kind of a uh, mess. What Asiko explained seems to make sense. Indeed, the Southeast and Northeast are yet to produce any president. It will be unfair for either APC, Nigerians or PDP give the presidency to the Southwest, which will keep the Southwest in power for 18 years. It is time for the Southeast and Northwest well, Atiku Abubakar is trying to change the post for bringing all this. So all that time when the military had the state from the north was root Nigeria, root Nigeria and not accounted for. All what the country are following today is from military leaders till the northern regions continue to wave all that. Mm -hmm. Fulani, Fulani is like power, but they have nothing of sense to rule. <laughs>